Are you trying to get ChatGPT to write more like you or maybe one of your clients? There is a way to get better output and I'm going to give you the prompts that gets it done. Come on in and I'll show you what's what. So one of the biggest complaints with AI is that everything sounds the same. It has no personality. It produces stuff that's very wooden or vanilla. Sound familiar? Well, the output is only as good as the input. Prompting is everything. And the good news is you can train ChatGPT to sound more like you or one of your clients. And I'm going to show you the prompts I use to get better output. I'm going to share my screen and you're going to see what's what. And if you want the prompts, I'll also include them below so you can grab them. So here's the prompt I use. Let's do something different. I'm going to share several examples of my voice, specifically how I sound in my blog posts and on my website. See the attached. Please analyze and break down my style, tone, language, and structure into specific rules. And what I attached was a Word doc where I copied and pasted a bunch of my blog posts. I think I did about five and a couple of pages from my website. So I asked ChatGPT with this prompt and here's what it spit out. I reviewed your content and analyzed your writing style in detail. Here's a comprehensive breakdown of your voice, tone, structure, and style in the form of actionable rules. All right, and you'll see it talks about my voice and personality. It talks about playful with humor. It talks about me being confident but approachable. And notice how it pulls out examples to back up why it's saying that this is one of the rules. It talks about tone and emotional appeal, again, with real examples. And it's getting a sense of the words I use, like groovy, okay, yay, my sentence structure. And it also talks about language and vocabulary, plain spoken and clear. That's me for sure. So it's getting a sense of my writing style. It also gets into structure and organization, how I tend to structure my blog posts and my articles, talks about formatting and visual style with bullet points and emojis and things like that. And now it's giving a summary. These are the key writing rules summary. Be conversational and direct. Balance humor with practical insights. Use clear and formal language. Employ rhetorical questions to engage readers. Provide clear and bold headings to enhance readability. Notice these rules. We have 10 rules here. So I'm going to be using those rules in a moment, and I'm going to show you how I get ChatGPT to create a custom prompt. Here's what I said. Okay, given the rules you just created and the knowledge you gained from the content examples I shared, please reverse engineer a prompt template I can give you in the future that will help you write in my style. All right, so that's exactly what it did. And here it is, Robin's custom prompt template. Hi, ChatGPT, I'm going to ask you to write content for me using my signature voice, tone, structure, and style. Here's a quick refresher on exactly how I want you to write. And then it goes into the voice and personality. It goes into the tone and emotional appeal based on those rules that we just had. It, notice how it says the groovy, the yay, and the okay, listen, all these little phrases that I use, the language and vocabulary goes into the structure and organization, goes into the formatting and visual style, and then it goes into how I'm asking it to respond. Confirm you understand the topic I've given you, briefly restate my primary objective, write content that matches my style based on all of the instructions above. And then I would include my actual topic requests there. Boom, brilliant, right? Here's the thing, it actually works really well because you're training it on your style or your client's style, those little quirky things that make someone sound like them. Is it 100%? No, but it's a much better starting point than saying to ChatGPT, you know, here are notes on a blog post about repurposing content, you know, write it in a friendly, warm style. What the heck is a friendly, warm style? Your version of friendly and warm will sound different than my version of friendly and warm, and that's okay, but that's what makes you know, a person's tone and voice so unique is when you can really capture it and make it sound like them. So this is a great way to train ChatGPT on your voice so you can avoid the AI slop, the vanilla. Will you still need to edit? Of course. AI still needs human oversight. I can honestly say that the writing I'm doing for clients is much stronger thanks to AI but I'm not just simply giving AI a prompt and copying and pasting what it does, putting it in a Word doc and sending it out, not at all. So to recap, 
what you do is you get some samples of your own writing. This could be articles, blog posts, emails, social media posts, put them on a Word doc, feed that Word doc to ChatGPT, ask it to analyze it and break down the tone, style and structure, and then a summary of the rules. And then you're going to take that output and ask ChatGPT to use it to create a prompt that you can use to prompt it better. Basically, you reverse engineering and then try it out and see if it works. You might have to refine the output a little bit. You might have to refine the prompt a little bit. But the more you do this, the closer it's going to get to your voice and it's going to learn every time it does it. So if you work with clients, if you're a freelance copywriter, content writer like me, you're going to want to create one of these custom templates for each of your clients or for each person in your client's organization who you write for. So keep that in mind. What do you think? Have you tried this strategy before? I'd love to hear how it worked for you or maybe some tweaks or improvements. Share below in the comments. If you got anything out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I am Robin the Coffee Bitch and I will see you on the next video. Bye.